live. I'll give it a second. Okay, we're live now. Welcome to Hukalo TV. Today is Saturday, August 20th, and today we have uh, Safira channeling, and uh, Wendy will be helping. Uh, we are not going to be taking uh, questions from the chats, just the webinar participants, but that shouldn't be a problem since we have a 25-person chat room today. And uh, I'd like to start with a few brief announcements, then uh, let Wendy introduce pe uh, people, and, um, and, um, and then we'll turn it over to Safira. So uh, Max has asked me to uh, review uh, the Hukalo calendar, which is at the humancolony.org website. And uh, uh, we have uh, several events. Uh, Sabrina will be channeling tomorrow, August 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, her topic for her weekly webinar will be Fear and the Ego. And then next Saturday, Jim will be back in the channeling seat, and Max will be hosting that webinar. And uh, the next day, August 28th, uh, Sabrina will be doing her weekly webinar again, a uh, topic to be announced. And uh, that same day, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, Jim and Max will be doing a Reiki Class 1A. And the following Sunday, September 4th, also from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., Reiki Class 1B. So uh, check out the links on our calendar uh, for more details on those events. And um, Wendy, are you ready to introduce folks and do an introduction? Can you unmute, Wendy? Yeah, I may have a delay. <laughs> well, I'm hearing you now, so go ahead. I might have had, I have a little delay, so my pardons. Um, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Human Colony, uh, also known as Hukalo. Um, I know there's a little confusion in that, so Human Colony is Hukalo. It's just a sh shortened version of it um, to our Saturday morning webinar. And uh, we are happy to have you all here today and delighted to have Safira um, Trinity with us today as well. And um, glad that we can have this uh, platform today. And since we can fit 25, um, I will go ahead and announce everybody. But once we get uh, too full, um, I, I didn't want to know if I get into everybody's uh, names. But we have wow, I, this is Emmy today and connecting the weird way. Oh, can you uh, here? I'm gonna thanks. Um, Christine, <laughs> Christopher, uh, and of course, thank you, Mark, for being here and helping everyone set up, and Krell, and Sam, and Sarah, and Shaheen, and of course, our lovely Trinity, who is Safira, and me, Wendy. And I want to welcome everyone from around the globe, and um, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, and Safir and I today, we talked a little bit about how a lot of people come in to our webinars every Saturday, and some people it's for the first time. And maybe they didn't have, sometimes we jump in and we forget because many of us have been together for a long time, we forget maybe what it's like to come in from the outside in, maybe for the first or second or even third time, or those of you who are out there watching who haven't had a chance to come in and hang out with us or just kind of getting... Um, the idea of what we're about and what we talk about and um, we're a variety of uh, spiritual um, healers and people who just know there's more out there than what we've come to understand and that I think we've all, all of us here, all of us have believed that there's just more out there, that there's more civilizations and more planets and more information in higher realms and many of us have been connecting to it all our all of our lives, and many of us have just started today, or a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, or a few years ago. Everyone's different on their path, and so we wanted to kind of just take just a minute to kind of say who we are, how we got together, and um, for me, it's been almost a couple of years now, and I too was just looking for. Something that I knew was out there that I wasn't, something was missing. And in my journey, 
I found Human Colony. And I think with that, maybe it's a good segue to introduce Safira and let her take it from here as far as her experience and what she felt and found and, and what the beginning was of Human Colony. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful Wendy. Always a burst of sunshine and light and beauty. And Mark, thank you very much for helping. You have a very calm and assured energy and spirit. It's really nice. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So, Human Colony was started originally by Max Steinberg, or Max Rempel Steinberg, how you maybe you've seen his name. He is a PhD in genetics and DNA. He wrote a book, he wrote three books about maybe three, four, five years ago, I'm not exactly sure, about post contact life on Earth for our alien friends and entities and planets and um, associations who were wanting to help the Earth and communicate with us and prepare for first contact. He wrote a few books about what that would be like. He wrote books for our side. He wrote books for their side. Then he met Jim Charles, who is our main channeler, and they met through a Reiki share. There are actually, <clears throat> Jim will tell his story. Uh, maybe you've heard it about how he actually began really channeling in this way. Uh, in any case, there were about 72 or more audio recordings of Max and Jim working together in this way uh, before Max began the actual website, humancolony.org. And so they had already been working together like this for a while. The webinars were an idea to gather people, as Wendy shared, around the world who had different abilities or understandings or had contact themselves and didn't know who to talk to or what to do about it, really. So we began we began attracting people who had been speaking different what is called light languages or galactic languages for many years, and they didn't know what they meant or why. And so we began attracting many talented channelers and light workers. And why do we do it? We do it because we want to be ready for the future. We want to prepare ourselves to be ambassadors between other worlds and our worlds. In order to do this, we need time to get to know each other and understand what's happening and why and just raise ourselves up to be able to do that and have contacts around the world to be able to be ambassadors for. And also, as Wendy and I both said, to attract, to bring like a community of people together of like mind and heart and to be supportive. And also, we offer messages from others whether they be angels, Buddha, um, ET friends, etc. We just offer the message. We have no intention of preaching or telling others what to do and how to do it. We offer the messages, which are usually messages to help humankind ascend. This is sort of like one of our mottos of our website is that we are helping humanity to ascend because the Earth is going through changes itself, it's ascending from the three-dimensional energy to the fourth-dimensional energies, and so our ET friends, our spirit guides, our angels want us also to help, to help us raise our energies to that level as well. So this is why we do what we do. The Saturday webinars have always been free. We do ask for donations if anybody feels moved, because it does cost money to run um, hangouts and webinars, etc. But uh, in any case, it's always been free and it will remain free. If you have personal questions, then Jim Charles is uh, taking private sessions, as you most of you know, in case you don't. Uh, also, Kim Louise and Sarah, and there are others who take personal sessions. Okay. Does anybody have anything to question or? say from what I've just shared? I, Sarah, um, uh, Sarah, Safira, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this morning. Um, 
<laughs> I was just thinking about Sarah and how she was one of the first people I met in, in Human Colony. But anyway, um, yeah, mm -hmm. and I would like to add, yes. add to everyone that um, talents, abilities, um, things that bring you joy. The website needs all kinds of people. Um, you know, they need a... Uh, um, people to help transcribe our webinars, um, our blessings, people mm -hmm. to help out, you know, doing um, artwork or uh, graphics or uh, just all kinds of things. I mean, any if any of that stuff interests any of you, uh, helping out at a Saturday webinar. If this is the kind of thing that you love to do, um, we would love to have you. Anybody who's out there who's interested in wanting to um, be a part of the webinar, host a webinar, be the technology behind the webinar and help set it up, um, help you know get the Saturday more uh, Saturday webinars going, um, uh, just be a part of the, the the family, the group from the in, from the you know from backstage if you will. Um, everyone, we're always looking for new people to come on board and um, join. You know, so don't be afraid to leave comments. Um, find us on the the website. Um, and uh, let us know what you're interested in and what you're good at. We have a lot of amaz amazing, beautiful um, artists out there, uh, ET artists, uh, spiritual artists. Um, I mean, just so many. The, there's so many of us coming mm -hmm. together. So if you've got a good talent to bring to the table, um, you know, we'd love to have more people in the family um, doing this and helping and channeling. If you're interested in channeling, I'd like to... Um, you know, be a uh, part of the, the channeling um, human colony team, please feel free to let us know. So welcome everyone again. And um, uh, Safira, was there anything else that you wanted me to mention about um, Brooke Just Fittier? Brief, yeah, briefly about Brooke Fittier. I forgot to mention them. Um, and that was the only other thing that I think, and, and I think if I, I'm trying to remember how Max said it, but when when Jim first started channeling, wasn't it the Yael? Was it Dizdu who originally told Jim about the alliance between um, human, you know, the humans and Kirk Bicknear, I believe. But the, mm -hmm. there is a, um, and actually, I'm gonna, I'll post the. Um, the link to the Kirk Bicknear site as well. But there is actually a website out there called, and it's Kirk Fit Near. And it's spelled G I R K F I T N I I R, and it's a galactic alliance. And basically, just the the brief first intro um, is: we are a relatively small alliance. The alliance members are the Arcturians, Pleiadians, Lyrians, Fendorians, friendly reptilians, and the Yayao. We are all fourth dimensional beings. We are unique. We are a unique and independent alliance. However, we are working together with larger alliances such as the Galactic Federation of Light. We have chosen to interact with Earth more directly as, a galact as the galactic rules allow. And that is kind of the gist of their, their, their working with us. And, and if, it's, if, it's, if it's something that interests you to um, research a little further um, or dig into a little bit more, um, of course, we invite everyone to do so, but that's basically how we came together as human colony, and from there, the colonies just blossomed. We all blossomed. And Liney, welcome. I haven't seen Liney in forever. Love you. Um, so, yes, so, um, is there any, any comments or questions so far at all from anyone? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Much love to you. Hey, Liney, nice to see you. Mark, is there anything you'd like to say before we begin? Well, I just wanted to ask Wendy if she wanted to mention what she's doing on Monday and the languages part of the whole thing. Oh, you know, yeah, that's, here, we're so silly because that's one of the things that we... Um, could you melt, um, mute Liliana, please? Um... That's one of the things that I did. Well, I wanted to mention just briefly that um, I, for myself, I've been so busy. I forgot to update our calendar. Um, I'm on the sixth of our, the sixth week of our Bashar's 
Self Love 49 Day Challenge, and my Hangouts Monday afternoon at 4:30 Central Time. So I just haven't updated. I haven't put my event out there yet, but I'm continuing on. It's for seven weeks, so that's on Monday evening, Monday afternoon at 4:30 Central. Um, but what I wanted to briefly, just briefly, talk about, which is something Safir and I talked about, was the Galactic Languages, because it's something that when I came into Human Colony, for some reason, um, oh yes, absolutely. Um, Sarah. Sarah has a conversations with Sarah on Friday. Um, Sarah, go ahead and let us know about it real quick. Hello everyone. Um, I also have a uh, it's it's a sort of conversation and channeling webinar for Fridays. I'm okay. going to be uh, restarting them this Friday and basically we talk about aliens, we talk about our experiences, we talk about uh, any questions we have on our emotional level, a spiritual level, or physical level, or all three. Uh, and we talk about anything that may be on your heart. And so I help people conversing with them, counseling them, giving suggestions and ideas. Um, a lot of them are through my own experiences as well, dealing with energy and crystals and uh, galactic friends and galactic languages. So if you're interested, please come to Conversations with Sarah on Friday. It'll be a, a Google Plus webinar this Friday. Thank you. Love you. Oh, what time, hon? What time? Oh, um, 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern day, daytime. Okay. Okay. 4 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Awesome. And that's another thing I wanted to say, too, is that we're, we're all... It's like it's like it's it's like our home base, and then we're all kind of branching out into the things that bring us joy. And whether it's channeling or languages or art or whatever, um, you know, it's we all have something that brings us joy that we have to share with the world. And this is a, a great place for all of us to support and encourage each other to share those gifts. And so, and one of the things that I found very enjoyable was galactic languages. I was drawn to it immediately. I can't say why. I still can't say really why, only to know that there's messages there and there's information. And by way of that, I just became um, interested in, well, by guidance, uh, interested in galactic languages and speaking them and sharing them and helping other people activate themselves speaking them. Um, most of you know I have a light language, uh, Languages of Lights um, YouTube channel in which I do videos and channeling and, and galactic languages. But the, the point of that is that there's people all the time who've either been speaking these languages, as Safira said, all their lives, um, and we've talked about it being in church and it's speaking in tongues and speaking to the angels and God and the spirits, um, but it's, it's every realm, every possible realm and, and um, it, everything has some form of a language, some form of sound. Um, and sound heals and galactic languages heal and they have a, a, a multi-dimensional purposes. So a lot of people don't understand what they're doing, what they're speaking, what they're saying. Um, so it's a place for all of us to share these languages and share the information that may come through because of the languages and I believe it's a truly a, a, a very important tool and part of the whole first contact and um, you know our whole process of meeting our higher selves, the higher realms, our extraterrestrial contacts, our families, our angels, our spirit guides, and what have you. So I, I'm glad that you mentioned that, Mark, because that is something we wanted to talk about was the languages because it's been a big part of my life, a huge, it changed everything for me. And um, it just so happened that I just happened to take it to that level. But there's a lot of people who um, are experiencing it who just don't understand it. And so this is another place where we can talk about that. And... Um, there's Reiki, galactic Reiki is being introduced to all of us now where it's a whole combination of these alchemy of healing techniques and modalities that we're combining and understanding that together they're extremely powerful healing tools that are being given to us telepathically, energetically, and everybody has access to them and everybody's capable of it. 
It's just a matter of focus and relevance to your joy. It's really is all of all it's about. So that galactic reiki and understanding um, the different levels of sound healing and and intentional healing and how all of this ties together. So it's kind of like all of that. <laughs> This is all part of the ambassadorship training. Hello, this is Rujan. Hello to everyone today, Hello, wherever Rujan. you may be around the world. Yes, I have been waiting to speak. I have I am from the realm between uh, the Elohim and the Prime Creator, but I have also been involved with different planets and different lives, so to speak, the way you use lives. It is not in the same way or within the same time band that you are used to using the word life. The ambassadorship. There are many of you and so many humans who have ancestry in different parts of the universe and galaxy. So when you speak these languages, you are connecting to your particular ancestry. And it is to pique your interest to move forward and to find out who they are and your connection to them and to raise your excitement and to know that the future of this planet is not to stand alone but to stand in a relationship of brotherhood and sisterhood to the other planets around it and throughout the galaxy. Many times we feel as a planet that this earth is standing alone in the entire universe. It is a speck of dust if you take a telescope and go all the way out into the expanse, we feel like we are one little small dot. No. This Earth is very much a part of a larger body of planets and beings. Yes, this is a planet where, as you have on your Earth, you have many races. Well, your planet also represents many races on a galactic level as well. Beautiful. Thank you for that dear explanation. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today on any specific topic? <laughs> there are many, many, many things to share. Many things to share about the energy happening on the earth today, the energy coming in from the fourth dimensional realms in the attempt to shake up and Awaken because part of the weaponry used against so many of you humans has been a lulling energy, has been a mind control sleeping energy. Many say, oh, yes, we are afraid that the aliens will come and destroy this planet. And like some of your movies, come and suck all the blood out of all of your beings to use for their own nutrition. Some very grotesque images have been presented. However, the real weaponry is a lulling of and a mind control system so that you are quite content in a, in a small bubble of your own world. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yes, very much. Thank you. You can imagine a imagine a chick within its eggshell. I was thinking of something more pliable, but the words do not come at the moment. A chick within its eggshell, it is quite content. A child in the embryo is quite content until it is time to come out and then there are shaking and moving and it is a painful process to come out for both the bearer and the child coming out itself 
and then it comes into a new world and the chick comes into a new world it might feel before that moment I do not want to change my situation I am quite content I am receiving all the nutrition and all the comforts I need to survive on this level they are not thinking that in words perhaps but to make a point it is the same with we are you are within a bubble of consciousness which is comfortable it is small it is compasses a small realm of of other beings that you know your work your nutrition your housing in your world where everybody is not encased and enclosed in their own homes in their own little cubicles and feeling safe and secure and hidden Imagine a world where the doors were open and all could walk and commune and expand. Yes, this is the expansion that we are helping you with on this earth now. We of the higher realms, your alien friends, your spirit guides, your angels, these are all part of you. These are all layers within yourself. Therefore, the galactic languages. Therefore, those who commune with angels. Therefore, those who have always had experiences where they know that there is more than just their own physical bodies. All of these are layers of you. And we are simply trying to break the shell away so that you can breathe out and expand and know the fullness of you. It is simply the fullness of you that you can once again breathe and expand into. Is there any comments or questions about this? That was a beautiful analogy. Thank you very much. I was reminded of the butterfly who struggles to leave the cocoon, yet if it leaves, if we break it too soon, the butterfly cannot fly. It must go through that little bit of struggle in order to actually have the strength to fly further. So, thank the, you for that. The struggle is simply, in this case, the fear of breaking free. The butterfly struggles as a natural instinctual process to go from one stage to another. Yes, it is very similar. It does not have the same meaning I am trying to... what you yes. are saying is that chaos is necessary before a new development this is a natural order of creation we are saying that yes that is also one aspect the other is the weaponry of sleep and mind control that you are content to stay within this shell within this embryo within this cubicle without even really knowing what life could be like outside of it therefore you receive many many examples of what life could be like outside of it we try to give you that so that it inspires you to break and expand out into you into you yes leaving our comfort zones it's just necessary and it is necessary to do this in groups many times because it is just easier therefore you have your human colony there are many spiritual groups around the world who attempt to help people come together and to break free yes yes very much so I believe that it we as humans tend well perhaps all civilizations tend to wish it's easier to do it together with support everything exists in a give and take relationship everything everything in the universe is always having 
a relationship to something else and therefore expanding. This is the nature of expansion. If you pick up a book and it inspires you, you have had a give and take relationship with this book and the ideas of it. It has expanded a thought. It has expanded your mind. A conversation is expanding and co-creating as well. If you speak suddenly a language and you investigate and you find your community, this is also a co-creation, a give and take which expands. Give and take and expand. Therefore, what are you having give and take with in your life? And how are you expanding? What is your desire? Where do you wish to expand? If you are here, it may mean that you are wishing to expand on a energetic, spiritual, heart level, are willing and hoping to expand your wisdom that you can hardly share as deeply as it comes to you, your compassion it is hard to share as deeply as you feel it, your empathy as hard as it may be for you to share it so deeply. There is a longing to expand and to share these things. This can be why some of you are here to find a way to expand and to be understood. What are you having give and take with in your life on a daily basis? What are you having give and take with with your thoughts? What kind of thoughts are creating and expanding? What kind of heart feelings, although heart is not always feelings, but where do you invest your heart on a daily basis? Where are you having give and take and expansion? How are you expanding? With whom are you expanding? With what thoughts are you expanding? With what actions are you expanding? Expansion and growth. Expansion and growth. Then there is a time for retraction and a time to be introverted and a time how that give and take is expanding because this is the purpose. This is all universal law of coming together, give and take, expanding. This is the process of ascension. This is what we come to assist you in. You don't really need our assistance as much as you may think you need it. We are simply here to prod and to help you with little chinks in your own process of breaking free. Thank you so much, Rujan. Hmm. That message was for you. It was also for all who are here and all who are listening. Rujan, I have a question. This is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. You mentioned the give and take um, with aliens and ancestors and angels and things of that nature. Um, is it okay even if that's what you're doing on a constant basis? Um, because if we can give a take with the humans, but a lot, a lot of, it seems my time is spent giving and taking with other beings outside of this third dimensional realm. Is it bringing expansion into your life, Sarah? Oh, of course. Yes, <laughs> yes. Expansion, expansion. You are not responsible to expand the life of the humans around you. However, it would be a natural act of compassion to do so. It would be because you cannot do otherwise, because yes. it is just such a force. Therefore, 
by the very nature of what you are doing with your alien friends. You are also expanding those around you. Even you may not be having such direct give and take with them, but your example is still helping others to expand. You will be doing your webinars again. This will be, again, an experience of expansion for others as well, because it is your desire to do so. Yes. Therefore, do not worry about what you are doing and your give and take, because your desire and your intention is to expand and then to explode it outwards. Otherwise, you will not be doing your webinars. Is that not true? That's true. Yes. So you are taking your time within, and then you are going to blossom. Taking your time within, having give and take with your friends, <laughs> and then you are going to well, I look yes, forward to is, that explosion. <laughs> oh, it, is ha it has already happened. Yeah. It has already happened. This is not new. It has already <laughs> happened. Yes. No yeah. problem. No problem there. Yes. Thank you so much. Anyone mm -hmm. else? Thank you. And isn't that, and isn't that the fun of, of this experience is the expansion and contraction, the, the thrill of the realization and the ride, you know, the roller coaster ride. We all like to to be up at the top and anticipate the next ride, and and then come back and slow down. <laughs> um, yes. Thank you. That was, that was so beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Um, and to, um, to yes, and to Christopher, dear Christopher, it is good to take care of your self, your identity, your ego. It is good for all of you to maintain this body so that it can function <laughs> for a long time as much as possible. It is not people use on your planet the word ego as a as a uh, negative we must not have ego. There is the healthy ego, there is the part of the ego which is damaging when it becomes too self centered and too self absorbed. This is the only ex distinction I would like to make about your ego. Yes. I have a question related to the ego as well when there are those who have um, joys and abilities that they wish to share yet they feel as if they're um, by, by doing so that they're being egotistical that they're somehow um, tooting their own horn but they but so they're afraid to show who they really are because they think it's being egotistical. Um, so they're, they're, people are afraid to come out and show who they really want to be because they think there's ego involved. Um, this is a you, false humility. Yes. This is a false humility. Humility, as you like to use it, is not, I will hide my gifts. It is, I will use my gifts, and my intention is to use my gifts to help others expand, because, not because I have to, but because I cannot help but do so. This is the point of passion that you often wish to reach. I cannot help but expand my gifts and my talents because it is just so, it is so expansive for myself to do so, and I just cannot help but want to give it as a gift to others, and maybe they can also use it as an expanse. To hold that back and say, I am afraid it is egotistical, is a fear of actually stepping over the line. It is all a matter of intention. And if your intention is simply to toot your horn, as it has been said, or to simply gain attention, 
this will be obvious very quickly and it will take care of itself if your intention is truly once you step over that line is to be in expanse and help others be in expanse or or join with others this is a better word than helping helping sounds so you are above and they are below that is why I said to you we do not really need to help you but we come to give you impulses to break out yourself helping means one is here and one is here no it is a give and take action among each other that we both expand I expand through my experience here with you today I do you expand through your give and take with me today you do we are expanding through our give and take I am not above and you are below I am simply in a realm of other evolutions which you will all reach as well because it is all part of you this is all you I am you to is you you are there you are here you are also there it is all you just break out and know that this is me expand even use your physical body and expand yourself out and have give and take with things which will help you to understand that this one aspect of you here is one aspect of you here there are so many other aspects and your being is will always expand outwards and in knowledge in wisdom in experience in give and take in other cultures yes this is why it is so important in your particular world if you even want to understand that all of you humans are a melting pot of all of the galactic races around you you have your own melting pot on your own earth with your own cultures and your own races and how difficult is it even for that acceptance among your own races work on that as well then you will understand and can become an ambassador for the other <laughs> melting pot around you and in you Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's absolutely perfect. I I love that. Being from the United States, the melting pot of the world, I love that analogy. Thank you very much. I mm. I would like to ask a general yeah. question about chakras for those who feel that their chakras or energy vortexes are being blocked. How would you suggest people go about identifying what that what the belief is behind that blockage and and the who or the what or the why behind the blockage take a moment in peace and begin to write down your experiences in life because there is a moment in different stages of your life that you have collected certain belief systems there are many moments where you have felt injustice moments where you have felt abused then take those moments and ask yourself when have I been the abuser when have I been the one who did injustice to another when have I been the one who has spoken carelessly when have I been the one who has gossiped and hurt another heart 
find yourself in your pain, in your anger, in your injustices. Find and forgive when you understand that you are one with the very things that block you in your belief systems and in your emotional life. You can forgive both. You can become liberated from them. Can you understand what I'm saying? There is no easy snap your finger. This is free and that is free. It is a process of transformation and expansion. There are also other tools. There are those in your systems on the earth who have a lot of healing abilities to cleanse and help you to cleanse if you have a difficult time doing those kind of thing by yourself. There are also binaural beats which vibrate to the different chakras in your system which can help to clear these as well. However, if you do not at some point in your life identify yourself with the three things that block you, then they might come back again. Can you understand my answer? Yes, thank you. Is there can a... You, can you understand is, my answer, Wendy? Yes, thank not you very in, much. Not intellect, uh, Wendy, not intellectually. Can you understand my answer? I can understand it. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Yes, I can. Thank you. It is not always an answer everybody wants to hear because there are, there seem to be easier ways. But if you continue to fall back into a certain pattern of blockages, then it is necessary to address these things within yourself. Thank you, I do understand. Thank you. Is there anything else? Are there any other questions or comments at this time? Sam, yes, please go ahead. Hello, Rujan. You just mentioned about the binaural beat that helps the body clearing. Um, you know which one is that, so we can all use that for our purpose to help out. There are different beats for different chakras. The 425 is centered on the heart. The five, I do not know now all of them. I cannot transmit them now. Okay, so 425 is for the heart. Yes, I believe you have much availability for these kind of. You have much availability in your internet system for these kind of binaural beats to use and to listen to. Is this true? Yes. I know it's true. Yes, you do. Yes. So, when you are looking for the exact beat to the exact chakra, you can ask that exact question. The binaural beat for the sacral chakra but I know a beat for the solar plexus chakra. You will find this information. Okay, great. Great, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Rujan. It's Sarah again. I have a question about binaural beat because I used Please. to use them um, during my time of awakening, um, and they were very helpful, but it seems I got to a point where they became not very helpful because I was connecting more to nature than the binaurals. Do you know why? There are different levels of binaural beats. 
just as there are different levels of ascension and expansion. Mm -hmm. You the, the sounds that you make when you are connected to nature, you can consider those be part of the vanilla beats connected to the nature. Yes, I've been uh, connecting more with the idea of music from plants. Uh, yes, those will also have different beats. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Because I was wondering why beats, they no longer worked for me anymore. Yes. Yes, they have their purpose to awaken, to expand the chakras, to help to clear out, along with, as I have spoken, an mm -hmm. understanding to clear out the anger and the grudges as well. They will not always clear those out unless one does work on them. This is my point. That if yes. they work, um, you wonder why I am falling back. But once you have connected to higher binaural beats or different binaural beats, then this is also beautiful as well. So even nature, you consider those binaural beats? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. All right. They have their songs, they have their beats, they have their own part, they have their own chakras. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, and I Explore. tried to go back and it was... When I tried to go back to the ones that were on YouTube, it, it, it was as if it became disharmonic for me for some reason. It is more you being pushed forward rather than going backward. It is so when one is in elementary school and then one is in high school and one looks back at their homework in elementary school, it is, well, yes, there is this, I cannot believe that I once wrote and spoke on this level or this was my homework. It is not to say that these binaural beats would not be effective for you at some other time in your life, but at the moment you have moved forward and you are connecting to other binaural beats. Uh -huh. If there are experiences where you need to go back, when that binaural beat moves your heart, then it is you need it. You will need it. When it doesn't move your heart anymore, you do not need it anymore. It is not to say that it is a negative thing that that binaural beat has become a negative force. It is simply you do not need it at that moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you there for that perfect timely answer and question, Sarah, because I was just going to ask Rujan about binaural beats and why they have never resonated with me because I would always prefer to be in nature and every and and when I'm out there I've always been given the information that it was like the heart, the actual heartbeat of all creation that I was experiencing. And for some reason, binaural beats to me always felt chaotic. I've never really been able to adjust to them at all and feel as if I need to be in nature instead of doing that. So I found that fascinating. Hmm. Yes. How is everybody experiencing the expansion today with me? Are you feeling expanded? Have I been too too harsh on you? Oh no, oh. Rujan, this is perfect. Not at Thank all. You. We we have we have a lot of we have a lot of awesomes and greats and <laughs> yeah yes yes we very do. well so very beautiful well. you are expanding with me we are expanding yes is this we true? are expanding we are expanding together. yes yes very wonderful then I have done my job I have done I can feel that I have given something of value. Yes, this is wonderful. 
And of course, it's always a reflection, dear one. So I hope you feel our love in return. Uh -huh. Yes, it is not necessary, but yes, of course, I can feel. I can feel. Yes, it is not necessary for me to feel your love. All give and take should end up in a value, in a exchange of attention, which brings value. However, even your darkest nights have value as well. I would like to remind you that they are always moments of transformation. They are always the down before the up, so to speak. It is only the value systems that you place on emotions. This is happy, this is not happy, this is good, this is not good. And these are drummed into your minds so that you give value to them. If you could feel emotional pain, so to speak, and think this is valuable to me, I know that this is valuable and a moment of transformation and I will benefit from this. There will be a great benefit no matter what happens to me. I will benefit from it. I will learn something from it. I will change something from it. I will move in a different direction from it. I will become more understanding from it. I will expand from it. It is simply a matter of stepping outside as I spoke with Christopher and seeing that this is just one part of you and then understanding all the other parts of you as well and you will connect to them more and you will you understand that these transformational moments are a benefit to you, which will bring you to you, to you, and to all the many yous, and to us, and to us who are you. <laughs> ah, yes, this is wonderful. The concept that all things are one. I am speaking to you. You feel that I am up there and you are down here and I am coming and I am teaching. No, you are me and I am you, or you would not be here listening to me today if we were not already one. It is simply your realization that we are one. It is simply the selves and the energy of your being feeling and understanding that we are one. Ah, yes, this is amazingly joyful when you can feel that in understand that. Yes. Then there is no separation. Just as there is no separation from you and the things you are angry about, you and the things you feel that others do to you, it is also you. They are the same. And they bring a benefit. Those experiences as well. It's all a great benefit. Yes, it is. It is important, as I said, I will sum up to say, to have observance of what you are having, give and take with, with your thoughts, with your heart, with your center of trust and life from your solar plexus, you're out, with your creativity. How are you? having give and take to expand your creativity. Doesn't matter what it is. Yes. <laughs> just beautiful, just beautiful. Um thank you. I I I'm imagining what it must feel like um to experience expansion from your point of view and it's hard for me to imagine that. Um oh. Oh, oh, my dear, <laughs> dear, Wendy, 
you are a being of constant expansion. You have at times <laughs> expanded yourself <laughs> even beyond <laughs> what you could even handle. That's true. Uh, the expansion has been so large and so long and then you have longed for that moment of contraction, not chaos, but contraction and introspection. True. And then expansion once again. Yes. Very true. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> you are an agent of expansion. Mm, yes. Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> feel the joy. Feel the joy. Oh. You give out the joy. You give out expansion. So do each and every one of you. Wendy, within the human colony system, is more visible in her own work outside of it. She is more visible. But I know that each and every one of you are doing that as well. It doesn't matter in big ways or small ways. Avoid comparing yourself. It took our dear Wendy here a long time to expand, even though she was always pushing against the boundaries and breaking through. And when she broke through, blah, there was an expansion. Like crazy. <sighs> so it does not matter. Everybody starts at a smaller position and expands forward. Try to avoid comparing and say, oh, I can never do that. That is Wendy. I can never do that. That is Mark. I can never do that. That is Safira. I can never do that. That is Jim. I can never do that. It doesn't have to be any one of us. It could be anybody you know in your life who you feel you can never be like and you wish to have certain parts of them which were like you. Well, they are you and you are them. So that which you wish, if you wish to be a more public figure, it is simply a matter of stepping over the line. And there will be many hands waiting to take your hand and to bring you over. They're always off. Oh, thank you. That was so beautiful. You just, you just, you just made my heart expand and expand. Um, oh, dear, you were. That was a perfect example of when you do not recognize yourselves for who you are outside of this one circle of identity. Yes. Um, our because dear Liliana has a question, if she might. Yes. With, with, okay, thank you, okay. Liliana. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, I have, I would like, I can do to open my heart. You know, it's like I feel that heart like close, and I would like to just open it. And also the troll chakra, in a way that I can find more alignment with what, source is. Thank you. Yes. yes. Mm. Think about, Juliana, what are you having an exchange with? Is there something you can find to have give and take with that is moving, that moves your heart? It might even be a movie that will move your heart. Something comforting from your past. Um, something you have seen. A book you have read that moves your heart. It is, there is a way to start having give and take and to move your heart. And also to seek out acts of goodness. Acts of goodness are also very inspiring. Ah, they are very inspiring. When we see goodness, it is like a beautiful light which is just beaconing out. Acts of goodness, meaning kindness without the motivation for self-return. 
it is giving without expecting that simply because one cannot do otherwise but to give and but to be kind and but to have compassion and to reach out when your hearts are closed and your throat is closed it is again because one has isolated oneself from having give or take with that which is reaching out and expanding yourself there has been a hurt there has been an inability to speak out that hurt and therefore the throat chakra is also closed and there is the wound to the heart which closes the heart as well it could have happened a long time ago but it continues to revisit it could have happened recently and it also revisits it is like a trauma which cannot let go therefore if there is a way for you to express that which you need to express you have lost your voice can you speak it out into a microphone into a something which is recording which only you can hear if that's how you choose can you find someone who will simply listen and you can express and talk and scream whatever you need to do to clear this energy here and then find a way to speak bring in breathe in words of love breathe in find words life breathe them in and speak them out with words of life speak them out and words of life speak them out so clearing and then nurturing clear nurture clear nurture it is the same here clear express the heart in this case the emotions being expressed through the throat chakra the pain the experience clearing and then nurturing nurturing breathe in words of life thoughts of life breathe in the natural compassion that you have within you do small acts of kindness in secret or small acts of kindness not in secret these are ways to expand if you feel like you are in a bind that you cannot break out of has that helped you in some way dear Liliana yes yes thank you thank you thank you thank you that was beautiful um, is and I, I I don't want to mispronounce your name so is it Jos Josua Josua um, has a question yes hello Josua Uh, and cannot, you may yeah. you you may speak out loud if you like. If um, go right ahead. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hi. welcome. Hello. Um, so, I just wanted to know. Uh, there was something interesting about the moon last night. At least I felt it that way. Did anyone else feel like the energy? coming from the moon and like hitting your heart chakra I did yes. actually I was standing outside looking at it last night and I felt as if it was actually sending a beam right to my heart so I felt like there was even a message uh, because of I don't I don't know how to explain it but the way the clouds were around the moon and everything the color the energy. was blue Yes, Sorry. the energy from the moon is going to expand whatever you have to expand. It will, it will expand whatever you are having given and take with. Does that make sense? It will magnify whatever you are expanding in your life right now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. yes. I must go. I am going. Please continue this conversation when I have gone. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. It's been a beautiful, beautiful interaction. Thank you. Namaste.
it was joyful for me. And I wish all of you a joyful, growing, creative, life-giving, life-expanding, life-affirming expansion in your day, in your days ahead. We will meet again very soon. Namaste. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you, Safira. How, how are you? I feel like a bit dazed. I, I was not totally, like I said in the beginning, I, I'm not a trans channeler where I'm totally gone, but I'm still feeling a bit dazed. I'm sure you are. <laughs> yeah. I completely un I completely understand. Um, get yourself a drink of water. Just kind of take a deep breath. That was beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Love Thank the you. cup. Love the oh. cup. <laughs> Thank you. A friend of mine had a dream that I was wearing red and black and white in all of my clothing. And I <laughs> thought to myself, you know what? I want to wear those colors. That's so me. And then the next, the next day, I went to, I think, a Goodwill or someplace like that. Guess which cup was there. Red, See, of black, course. And, white. and it was Synchronicity. Awesome. Synchronicity, I love it. I love it. So how is everybody? Synchronicity is the harmony of life. It is awesome. Yes, how is everybody? Say hello, please, anybody who... Hello, Trinity, how are you? That was really, really enjoyable. Thank you so much. <laughs> hello. You're welcome. We can... Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Thank I'm you. Good. Oh, you're welcome. What's your name, honey? Uh, Liliana. Oh, Liliana. Hi. Okay. I can't see all the names in here, but thank you. Good to see you. Yes. Nice to see you, too. Um, Hi, Lily. Nice to see you. <laughs> uh, there was a question about yeah, the moon. Oh, oh, I see yeah. Bree is here. Hi, Bree. Okay. Um, so please Hi, continue Sophia. with that discussion. Yes. Hi, Zafira. Uh, yeah, it was me. Um, that's the question. Hi. Hi. Um, thank mm -hmm. you very much. <laughs> um, last night, I got a little nervous, probably. But last night, um, so I've been, I'm here in Arizona visiting my friend. I've been here for about a week. And uh, last night, I came in Arizona, too. I'm in the zone. Wait, who's from Arizona? I'm from Arizona. Okay, hi. Um, so, ah, just hopped uh, in. Phoenix. Oh my god! So is Safira. Oh I'm in Queen Creek. Yes, I'm in Queen Creek. So oh, we, we can have a little. And Sam and Mesa. Little... Okay. Really? You guys what? need. You guys have got to have <laughs> oh a freaking Arizona. You gotta have oh. an Arizona hangout. We gotta oh my hang out. Oh how's that for we manifestation? Do. We do. We do. We do. Oh yes, that would be so awesome. Oh, oh that's so great. Wow. Talk Congrats. about expansion, oh, baby. <laughs> Talk about expansion. expansion. Yes. I love it. Synchronicity. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, uh, sorry. I couldn't. I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm feeling the joy here. It's all right. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, yes, yes. I love it. Okay. Just, just so make where it are you? Here. I'll be here. Yeah. I'm in Tucson for another week. I'm from New York. I live in Manhattan. So. Oh, that is so cool. I'm from Long Island, and I also lived in Manhattan. So yes, sir. <laughs> okay, but so wait. How far is Manhattan from Rochester? How far is Manhattan from hours. Rochester? Samira? I heard it's a Rochester. You guys aren't going to believe oh, this, but I'm actually way. from okay. Brooklyn. That's upstate? No, no, uh, Westchester, Who's right? Who's from Brooklyn? Who's from I Brooklyn? I am uh, the one living in oh. Phoenix. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. my God. Three New Yorkers. Oh, that's in her Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, this is just too <laughs> funny. Oh, oh, this is awesome. I love uh -huh. it. I love it. 
I would just like to remind everybody that we're still live, and maybe we could take the (laughs) personal connections and save them for after the webinar, because the Hangouts Uh, will continue after we go off air. Yes, yes. Definitely. This is part of the. But this is. But Mark, this is an exact example of expansion. Exactly. This is an example of what we're having. Give and take with each other, (laughs) and we are expanding our joy and our knowledge. And when we meet, we are going to expand even further. Yes. These, we have all these new people hop in, and you're like, oh, I'm from New York. I'm from Arizona. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. So please uh, please continue about the moon. Yes, please. I will, I will oh, yeah, uh, refrain. Oh, so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, so yesterday after, so we went to Mount Lemon on a car, and, uh, we took a couple of pictures. We went, we went up there. Uh, Ooh. Joe, Oops, he, muted, to unmute. he muted him. He got muted That's okay. Mistake. Just unmute him. That's okay. Just un- Oh. Wait, what happened? Well, we, <laughs> we went. We, <laughs> my, friend and I, my friend and I drove to Mount Lemon to catch the sunset and did a little bit of yoga there, took a couple of pictures, you know, just enjoyed the, the view. And uh, then we came back um, and started working on dinner and stuff. And something told me just, I don't know, for some reason I wanted to step outside. No reason. No, no, really. I didn't, there was nothing, no, no particular. Motive, you know. I just opened the door and I saw this gorgeous. Oh my God! Const- I don't know this view of the, like what looked like constellations and 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 and, and it, I don't know like the, the the clouds were in a different formation, like in a spiral around the moon, and the moon was radiating kind of like a blue light that. Con- I connected with, and I started staring at it. And my friend is not uh, doesn't believe in anything spiritual, or anything. Uh, she was she, well, there's a pool here in the in the um, in the condo, and she said, "Oh, let's go to a jacuzzi. This is this is nice. Look at how beautiful." I'm like just staring at at the moon the whole time, and I started to feel the energy, uh, something I haven't been feeling lately. Uh, and has to do with uh like not so much consistency on my Reiki practices and stuff, but I felt it on my heart, which was interesting. Again, and, and that was kind of like I felt like that was a gift, uh, and that was that was carrying some sort of I don't know message or something because it's just the way it, I I think it looked like the, as the universe and the moon was the center of it, and the more yeah. I look but uh, the more I saw like different levels of that, uh, different colors around her. I did too. Uh, the blue was on an oval shape, kind of like uh, on a, well, on a horizontal plane. But then after a minute or two I was staring at it, I started seeing this red or orangey dark um, patterns on a vertical like my old so and it was just as she was looking at me back, you know. <laughs> so it's like no doubt. I mean, no doubt about it. <laughs> that is amazing though because I I was standing right outside my front on my front porch just staring at it and staring at it and staring at it and looking and you, you actually confirmed some things for me that I was feeling just by sharing that because sometimes those are the kind of things where we kind of go okay you know if I were to tell anybody that they would think I was a little little crazy but I mean you won't find that here (laughs) in this group we you know but um, but yeah that it was very very powerful for me and it was I mean the colors and the information and the light codes that I was feeling and every you know a lot of anyone who knows me knows how I feel about light codes um, I mean, the information, you know, coming to us, and I was just feeling this love. And there's some more to it that that gets into, um, you know, Bashar's race and things like that. But um, there is information there in that moonlight. Um, so, but that's great. That was awesome. 
And I have to say that since last night and during this conversation, I've been feeling my heart activated somehow. I've man, been still man. when you when you were channeling. Go for it, sir. I don't know what entity. No, sorry. Can I get a second? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Keep going. I just want to let Sarah know to hop in mm -hmm. whenever she wants. Yeah. I uh, I miscalculated uh, the time and I, I thought it was the, the webinar was at 8 a.m. my time, so I didn't get to hear what entity were, you were channeling. I'm not familiar with what was going on, but I caught the conversation at like at, at, at what I think it was the the, the right time. Uh, what you were saying earlier about you know uh, the things that we do to look into uh, yourself, and I felt like uh. Like if there's things that I the patterns that I default to, uh, that I have to do the hard work on that. And I'm not gonna get into that part. Like I felt like that was a message mm -hmm. that I needed to hear. Yeah. And like I started feeling my heart uh, pumping a little differently. And wow. I know it's not so much a physical way. It's it's kind of mm -hmm. like the beginnings of what I feel when I do my uh, Kundalini meditation. And nice. when you get there, because again, uh, I'm being having some trouble there. But like <laughs> since last night, I felt I've been feeling my heart. And oh, that's beautiful. Just, just that's so awesome. I love that you're sharing that too. That just uh, it helps everyone's heart expand. Yes, yes. yes. So thank you know, you very much. I I just I love it. Thank you. That was Rujan. His name is Rujan. He is a spirit being. He relates also to the Pleiadians. He might call himself a Pleiadian, but he's more of a spirit energy. And I channeled him a few times before, about a year ago, I think. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so he's. I like him. <laughs> yeah, we like we like him too. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, much love. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Next person? Yeah, does anybody <laughs> have any, yeah, any... Oh, Sarah, go right ahead. Sorry, sir. The message from within the moon. You may think on the colors that you have seen last night. Feel those colors within your body. Feel the energy of the moon within your heart. Feel the energy that has been shared from your heart to the moon and back again. Feel your vibration rising in the sharing of energy energies expand in that energy breathe in that energy and share it with all of your energetic systems within your body Use this energy to connect to your chakras, to release all energies of the past that do not serve any longer. Use this energy to magnify the light within so that it may shine without. Use this energy to open the chakras, to open all that wish to be released and magnified within you.
feel this energy surrounding you and embracing you and feeling your auric field. You are the auric field of the moon. The moon is the auric field of you. Embrace it as you. Embrace it as source energy. This is who you are. This is who we are. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So beautiful. Awesome. <clears throat> beautiful message. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a lovely interaction today with all of you beautiful people together here with us, uh, together in the room with us, all over the world with us, um, all over the cosmos with us. Um, all eyes are on Earth, guys, <laughs> watching mm -hmm. our expansion and how we expand and how we interact and how we take these beautiful meetings of minds and hearts and energy and love and take it to the next step and take it to the next level and remind everybody to follow your heart and follow your joy because that's what it's all about. Um, I just It's been a beautiful day of energy. Um, I invite any last questions or comments um, and then I invite uh, any closing blessings after any questions or comments that we might have for Safira. Um, and again I wanted to um, remind everybody to contact Safira for private sessions and tarot readings and could you tell us just a little bit Safira too before we close about the, um, the energy code. Oh the emotion code yes. The emotion code excuse me my apologies. Well, that's okay. Uh, anybody who'd like to look this up, it was developed by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And it is a way to remove trapped emotions. For example, somebody had an experience, um, maybe they were robbed or something, and they experienced a certain trauma uh, from 10 years ago, but that trauma is still trapped in a certain part of our energy field, in our, in our energy field of our, around our bodies. And if unremoved or unattended to after a long period of time it will start to create a physical problem as well. Um, this is not really new but uh, Dr. Nelson developed a way to uh, help remove, find, first find and then remove those trapped emotions and it does offer some liberation and um, he is so experienced at it that he can remove just about anything with any chronic um, pain or people come to me with all kinds of stuff. I am a certified practitioner. I have helped people remove blockages for abundance so that they suddenly things come to them in, with different financial abundance or different types of abundance or with some physical ailments. Nothing. I haven't really done anything like um, terminal as of yet. But every trapped emotion we remove, and I suppose this is also connected a little bit to today, whatever trapped emotions that are blocked, they can also be ancestral. Whatever can be removed is a good thing. <laughs> it's liberating uh, no matter what. So that's one thing I do. And I also do oracle cards uh, and intuitive work with the oracle cards and oracle card readings. So, and also just sharing. If you just want to share and talk and um, I, maybe I can also channel some spiritual guidance for you there as well. So my email address is Safira S-E-P-H-I-R-A 33 at yahoo.com if you would like to just chat or whatever. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, Wendy, thank you for being such a beautiful hostess. And Mark, thank you for being the glue for both of us. <laughs> and for your presence as well. And for everybody who came and spent time with us today, we did a we had a beautiful give and take and expansion. Thank you. Thank you, so you for getting up extra early to join yeah, us. Yeah, I wanted to add that too, by the way, that yes, thank you, Sophia, being in her time zone that she is uh at a, at a very early to be with us today and so I wanted to thank you and of course and Mark uh, as well so um, yes absolutely just thank you you're it's welcome pleasure. and you pleasure know I be here thank you thank you Wendy well Mark and I and Wendy were in a meeting and I was not going to volunteer for this and Mark said oh I was talking about finding people I was talking about finding people we're comfortable with you know and doing something and then Mark said Oh, how about, Safira, are you doing uh, the, on a Saturday webinar with me? And I said, yes, and Wendy, and you, Wendy, and me. Yeah, that was awesome. I was like, sure, I'll so do thank it. You, I'll, Mark. You know, I'll monitor, moderate any time for you. And so, no, absolutely. And, and again, that's what this yes. is all about, too, you know, just being together and being mm -hmm. ourselves and joining in joy and harmony and expanding everybody's, you know, um, Journeys, you know, and thank you, Sarah, for the beautiful message. That's wonderful. Oh, so, I mean, yes, Sarah, that's you know, that's, um, I mean, that's what this is all about. So, um, I invite any additional comments or or questions before we close, and then um, we'll start. And, uh, anybody who would like to do a blessing in any language they prefer, <laughs> uh, that is more than welcome. And, um, I also just um, wanted to, before we say goodbye with our blessings, I just wanted to remind everybody to visit uh, www.humancolony.org and check it out, find everybody, find your family, um, watch for our events, um, create your own events and post them on the site, you know. That's what it's about, telling everybody what you do out there and getting everybody to join together no matter where you are in the world. Look at what all these beautiful synchronicities today. Just today, you guys could have a whole Arizona meetup just with you guys. I want to see a Saturday webinar with all y'all together. <laughs> yeah, <You know? laughs> yeah we'll use our New York accent. Yes. I'm sorry, Mark. For those who tuned in late, I want to remind people of the calendar on the Human Colony site with the upcoming Reiki classes and other events uh, highlighted in one place. And uh, just want to echo what Jim has said in many of the webinars that uh, it's not the Jim show for channeling. It's we want everybody included, and that's why it's so important to have people like Safira giving the perspective of their channels. Yes, and thank you for mentioning that too, Mark, because it, exactly, and, and, and everyone gives their time and energy and effort to this, and Jim um, is our, you know, primarily the one solely been channeling for us, and, um, you know, he he has Saturdays too that, you know, he needs to do things or take a break or take his own spiritual journeys, and in order for him to do what he does, he also needs to feed his own soul, and so... We encourage people who are channeling and want to channel and who are getting comfortable with it to get out there and, you know, get out there and, and um, join the club and get out here and, and show everybody, you know, your perspective. And there's billions and billions and billions and billions of, of unlimited perspectives out there, guys. And... Um, that's what this is all about, embracing them all, because they're all wonderful and perfect and beautiful and unique, and everyone is here because they need to be and are supposed to be, or you wouldn't be, you wouldn't even exist. So it's that simple. So <laughs> um, but with that said, I invite anybody to say um, any closing comments or prayers at this time, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up from there. Okay. <clears throat> Are you going to do a blessing, Wendy, hon? Absolutely. Okay. How about 
who else would like to do a blessing? Who's going to do it with you? Or after you? Oh, I would, oh, oh Will. Will. Oh, okay. Will, yay. Cool. We were the only one. Yay. Yay. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Excellent. Yes. That was that would be okay. fabulous. That's a great way I to will go. I will as well after yes. Will, Sarah. Oh, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, good. So, okay. <laughs> who, who, who want, you, you want to go first, Safira, and then we'll let Will and Sarah go, and then I'll go last. Oh, no. You, I, no, I'm not. You do it. You start. I'm not going to do it. It's you, oh, Will, and Sarah. Oh, you're hilarious. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. All right. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> you go first, Will, and then Sarah, and then I'll close. How's that? Will, Will, where are you, Will? Just getting everything ready. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hi. Welcome, Hi. Will and Reiki. Yes, Will. yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing <laughs> webinar. Um, for blessing, I'm going to choose English. This <laughs> It is my native tongue in this lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yes. Can we see you, Will? Uh, that will take another five minutes. Oh, okay, never mind. That's okay. Head. Oh, he's got bad head. Never mind. <laughs> Awesomeness. Um, as we resonate with the words that were said today, allow them to penetrate your soul. Allow them to remind you that you are divinity. That you are here for a purpose. That your light shines. Others see it and others need to see it. Be your awesome self. Be as awesome as you can be. It's your, your natural state. Just be you. That's all. That's all that's required. Namaste, my friends. Stay blessed. Namaste, so Will. Namaste. Thank and you. So it is. Thank you. And so it is. <laughs> Go for it, Sarah. Sakali to kosha. I sulutu kuna ha su kulutu ashi anaka una i salaki su kulutana shatai si aha ku shulutu atusha ani akayasa u shayata ni kiasa maya si anuku u shalat Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Inata. Thank you, sister. Inata. A beautiful day in every way. Beautiful beings of light. Thank you for being here and sharing the you that you are. The you, unique, wonderful beings. Go out and spread your love and your joy. This feeling that you have, this family, this familiarity, this camaraderie, finding each other by synchronicity. Um, take that joy out into the world. Let it ignite you. Let it open your solar plexus, your throat chakras. Let it help you speak your truth and be your unique being. Um, Spread your light. That's what we're all here for. And we're all embracing the idea that we're all on the same journey. Um, and the separateness is just an illusion. We really are all one. Everything is from the one creation. And we're all just a beautiful expression of each of those creations. Um, Thank you, 
ana ya ta ta skani ya ta ta wa te shi te ya ahi ana ha ya ta sa aya wa ya ya ta hi ana hi a ho wa ha hi a hi ana ha hi a ta hi e ta ta se ina ya o hi ya hi a hi a hi ana o a hi ana da shi a ta ta wa ta sa di a ha hu a ana hi ana hi a ta sa si a ta wa na he a ha. We are always with you. We are always sending our blessings and love and light, especially when you're going through the trials of when you do not understand, when you're in despair. When you need it most, we are there. We're sending you our love and our light, our compassion. We are sending it to your hearts. We are sending it to your emotional needs. We are always with you. We will always be with you. With love and light. Namaste. Namaste. With love and light. Namaste. Thank you, our dear um. Lemurians. <clears throat> So comforting. Thank you, Will. Also, Max, your message was so comforting. <laughs> and there he went. <laughs> Thank you, Max. <laughs> Did he leave? Okay. Yeah. So, so that's okay. So so full of your grace and love and comfort. Thank you, Will. So Thank beautiful you. for being that conduit for that message. Thank you. Okay. Just beautiful. Well, we wish. We wish. Oh. <laughs> We wish everybody uh, yeah. an awesome week, right, Wendy? Yes, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and I close with just the most beautiful energy. Thank you all for bringing this beautiful energy to us today. Um, your participation has been um, welcome and blessed. You all are blessed. We all are blessed to be together. Thank you. Nia Li Satiriana. Taila Oriana Kisa Saila Isasaka, Lani Anaki, Ki Salahano. Maloha Sasati Alaki, Elani Anakala. Pola Asi Talina. Shonomari Ishi Shara Kilan Kiara Cloud Torio Sola. Mima Alaku Toria Lahina Ki Lasasoli Arangi. Palahana Katuru. Mashula Hi Sani Anakariana. Hapuko Kiatariana Kilahina. Soluhu le yana kila hela ora mako siwa i la yana katia la kitoro sasa miana hasso aila kina maya i wala hunona kila kitoro shola hisasa kila kina paluko hamora shashi la yana ki sai i wa halako mi ma i wala hisasa tia hi i na ala kati tia sasa tolo kurembagi sola hi. Sano wala ki lahuna ki wala huna. Mesa sopa lahi susana kula. No matter what you appear to be on the outside, your light you carry with you always, your signature always, you are you. Always. You are the same beautiful light shining ever outward. Expanding and contracting the entire universe, universes, multiverse. You are one and you are the all and you are accessible and have access to all things. For nothing is separate from you. Nothing. You can feel and understand and telepathically connect to anything you intend to. You can manifest anything you intend to. And from now you will know in this place of your heart space that you have the power to make universes change reality. You know, now you will shine this inward and outward. You have always known you are simply remembering. 
the power and the beauty and the light and the glory of all that you are. In this now and every now, you are blessed and loved unconditionally beyond measure. Know this love within you and send it outward. And we are one. And it is done. Namaste. Mahala. Thank Namaste. you. All for being here. Namaste, Namaste, Mahala. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Oh, yes, this was so awesome. Yes, yes, yes. 11 11. Okay. It was 11 11 okay. during the blessing. <laughs> yes. My number. Okay, we're gonna go. We're going to go up Hi, there. Everyone. We wish everybody an absolute awesome, expansive week, and reach out to any other, any of us if you're new and don't know where to go from here. And humancolony.org or Ukulo TV on the Google Plus pages. Yes, please reach out if you would like. Thank you and much love to everybody. And before we go offline, I'd just like to mention that the Hangout continues even after it's no longer broadcast on YouTube. Ah, yes. So those yeah, who are so shy, no need, no need to leave. wish to stay in <laughs> chat, or even if you go away and get lunch, oftentimes an hour later you'll come back yes. and there's still three or four people um, chatting personally. So if you want to speak to in people individually off the record, the participation link will continue to work for up to 25 people for as long as people go to use it. Thank you for yeah, reminding awesome. us, Mark. Yes, thank Mark, thank you. you. Awesome. Yeah, and with yes. that, I'd like to thank everybody who joined us today and everybody who will be watching later. And um, Blessings to you all, and, um, and thank you for watching and participating in Hukalo TV. And with that, we'll go offline. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Thank Bye you. everybody. Thank you, Safira. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.